God knew sin must be punished. That's how severe sin is. It's not a matter of like, God gives grace and doesn't matter. You know, sin doesn't really matter. You know, sin doesn't really, uh, it doesn't come into the the, uh, equation. No, it does not. It comes in. Every sin must be punished. So at the cross, God took your sins and mine and God put it on Jesus. Okay, now watch this. In the courtroom, that happened once and for all. Jesus said, it is finished! Because every judgment of God fell on Jesus, one stroke after another. Every judgment, the curse, the condemnation, the disease, the poverty, the the separation from God the Father, all the darkness fell upon Jesus, stroke after stroke, for all our sins, not for Him, not for His own sake, but for us, because He was carrying our sins. And He was punished until finally He cried, it is the last stroke finished. And who was he representing? You and I. So now, let me ask you a question. We are forgiven, but are our our sins punished? Think carefully. Okay, how you talk to your friends about grace is very important. All right, some of you present grace like the universal people. Grace, you know. (laughs) It's not that kind of grace. All right, I'm going to ask you a question again. God forgives us, but did our sins go unpunished? No. Ah, our sins did not go unpunished. God cannot let sins, if God is a righteous judge, He cannot let sins go unpunished. Therefore, even the guy who fell in the penalty box playing soccer, (laughs) when he wasn't pushed, a righteous referee will not just not give penalty, he will flash a yellow card on the guy who is an actor. That's a righteous referee. So watch this. God forgives us. If this is for America, never mind. It's a, it's a soccer game that we just watched recently. Singapore lost because of some... Okay, never mind. <coughs> so... <laughs> don't tell me you don't need... You know, Pastor Prince, uh, 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 really, you know, um, why, why, why talk about righteousness? And, you know, because righteousness, the court, people are frightened of the court. I don't know why. You know, they're afraid of of, of legality and and a court. To me, if once Christ justifies you, like Christ's blood has removed every sin, if you know the value of Jesus' blood, you can step into the place of perfect light, God's presence, and not be afraid. Because the light will not show your sins. The light can only show the perfection of Jesus' work. So for us, we're not afraid to step into God's light. Why? Because Jesus has made us righteous. Amen? Amen. Are you with me? Now, God cannot clear sins. He has to punish it. So never, never tell your friends, all right, God did not punish our sins. That's wrong. God did punish our sins, but in somebody's body. And that's God's love. Whose body was it? Who sent him? God sent him.